You're on. Hi, everybody. My name is Anupam, and I'm from the marketing department. Today, I'll give you an introduction of marketing, just the basic, the definition, and the marketing mix. So I guess all of you have your own understanding of marketing. Somebody who has not heard the definition, the formal definition of marketing, can someone tell me what they think of marketing, what marketing actually is? Yeah. Advertising. Good. Somebody else? Setting stuff. Great. Yeah. Uh, promotion. Promotion. All, all great answers. And this is what you will usually hear. So it's advertising. Sorry, I'm not right. The whole thing. Selling and promotion. So one of my favorite definitions of marketing is that marketing is the process of acquiring. Servicing and even more important, retaining customers. So, as you can see from this definition, marketing is the process of acquiring, servicing, and retaining customers. That means marketing encompasses everything right from getting the customer, giving them what they want, and then making them come back for more. All right? And one of the most important things for this is marketing mix. Anybody has any questions till now? Are you clear with all the terms in the definition? Great. So the marketing mix, or as you like to call it, the four P's of marketing are product, Place, price, and promotion. Now, as you can see, product essentially is your either your physical product that you sell or your services. Place is a little misleading. You wanted it to fit in the piece. It's actually distribution. And price is at the pricing strategy you choose. And finally, promotion, although it just sounds like it is on promotion, again, we wanted to fit in the piece. It's actually advertising, personal selling, and all those kinds of things like discounts and coupons that you get for promoting your product. Now, deciding your product. Yeah. So, deciding the product means that you can. Decide if there's already a competitor in the market, what type of product you want to give, some other feature which will be unique to the customer. Place, again, we want to sell it online, offline, physical stores, multi-brand stores. Price, again, it's very important because you have to know that if you're selling a premium product, you cannot price it really low. Of course, you don't want to make any losses. And finally, promotion, which encompasses advertising, discounts, Coupons and whatever other things you want to do. So, any questions to now? So, I guess everybody's here. Right. So, the next thing we can talk about is like some examples of these things. For example, if you talk about a detergent, a company which makes detergents, right? So if there's already tied in the market and they say that we give you the best, whitest clothes, how do you enter the market if you say the same thing? Sure, you cannot do that. You have to bring in some new features. That's why you see detergents you say that we save colors in your clothes, we give your clothes a very nice fragrance, and stuff like that. Place, when Dell started, they made money by selling it to laptops online and then spend money on the physical stores. Price, Cadbury entered India and they actually sold chocolates at a loss to eliminate the competition from the market. And promotion, again you will see these Apple has these back to college, even all the manufacturers have these back to college schemes to attract customers to the So that's all for today and we covered the definition of marketing the four P's of marketing and some examples.